This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychetruth. Hi, it's Banks. Welcome to The Banks Method. In this series, we're going to be focusing on targeting the low abdominals. So this can be a tricky area to target safely. So I want to show you how to quickly and effectively target the low abdominals so that you can shred lower belly fat with simple body weight exercises. The Banks Method is my unique combo of ballet, bar, and Pilates exercises designed to maximize lengthening and strengthening of the muscles with fun, dance-inspired movements. You can find all of my workouts on Amazon Prime Video and the Yoga Plus app. In this series, you don't need any equipment, just a mat, so we'll go ahead and get started laying down on our backs. Let's lay all the way down onto our backs and just plant the feet hip width distance apart and parallel. Just go ahead, bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide. We're gonna start with some pelvic tilts to find our neutral spine, just notice the difference here. So from here, we have a little space between our low back and the mat. That is our neutral spine. I want you to take an exhale, scoop the abdominals and press the whole spine down. Good, now we're imprinting our spine on the mat. Now tilt your tailbone down towards your heels, slightly opening the rib cage. Exhale, scoop the abdominals, Press the spine down. Inhale, tilt the pelvis down towards the heels. So as we move into our abdominal series, I want you guys to really focus on keeping an imprinted spine. So here we can really focus on using our deep hip flexors, our transverse abdominals to lift the leg rather than our low back. So we can really get the most out of these exercises. And I know we can't spot reduce fat, but it'll really allow you to target those low abdominals and create definition in those low abdominals when we keep an imprinted spine. So hold that imprint in the spine, press the whole spine down, bring the right leg, then the left leg into a tabletop. Exhale, press the rib cage down, arms come long by your side. We're gonna take a little toe taps down. So right toe taps down, and then the left. So just alternating here. It's okay if your toe doesn't tap all the way down to the mat. You just wanna keep that core control, that rib cage knit together. Belly button pressing towards the spine like we have a corset on in the front. Inhaling as we go down, exhaling to lift and switch. So I like to imagine I have a cast on my leg here. So my leg stays at that perfect 90 degree angle and I'm just changing the angle from my thigh bone and my torso as I move that knee away from the hip. That's how you allow those deep hip flexors, deep low abdominals to really fire up. Now check out those knees. See if you can bring them one inch further away from the hip. And then from there, that's where the work is. That's where the low abdominals really start to shake. Four more here. Good, you guys. We've got three. Last two. And one, bring both knees in, zip up through those inner thighs, point through the toes, reset that spine, press it down. Knees come away from the hips one inch, exhale to come back in. Really small movement, but a lot of work is going on right here. Now check out if the core starts to pooch as you press those knees out. We want those flat washboard abs, right? So we exhale to help us press those abdominals down as the knees come away. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, just four more here. Last three, and then we get a break. Good, find that shake in the core too. Last one, pull the knees into the chest. Get a little break for those hip flexors. Now from here, we're gonna pull the right knee into the chest, extend the left leg, long toe goes to the side of the left knee. Then we switch to the other side. Legs go straight down the middle. So now we're gonna add the breath in here. We inhale for one round. Exhale for one round. Inhale, switch, switch, exhale, switch, switch. So if you want a little bit more, you can keep that imprint of the spine, lower those legs down a little bit farther over that mat. Inhale, exhale, light grip on top of that shin for eight. Exhale, last six. We've got five, last four, and then we get a break. Give me three, almost there. Two, and one, hug both knees in. So good, you guys. And then we're gonna bring our arms out to a T, bring those legs back to a tabletop. One more exercise, laying down on our back. So 
See if you can bring those knees one inch away from the hips, zip up through those inner thighs. We rock the knees over towards the right side. The left hip slightly comes off the mat. Exhale, use those obliques to come back center. Coming over to the other side, back center. So if we're here, we're not gonna feel those low abdominals, right? The work is one inch away from the hips, then go from there. And then check out those knees. You wanna make sure the knees stay parallel. So one knee isn't going in front of the other. Think perfectly parallel. Bottom leg is pressing up against that top leg. Opposite oblique is working here. Good, you guys. Let's do one more set. Right, exhale, and left. Nice work. Hug those knees into the chest. We're gonna come on up to a seated position. And we're gonna plant the hands behind us. Roll the shoulders down the back. Bend the elbows. From here, we bring the right leg up into a tabletop and then the left leg. So we just tap the toe down. If this is too much, then plant the feet down and just alternate one leg than the other. Otherwise, our toe is just barely touching over that mat. And we're just alternating, bringing one knee up, keeping the hips still. Good. Shoulders down the back. Pressing that pelvis down. Good, two more here. Last set. Good, then grab behind those thighs, roll it on up. Take a second just to stretch out through those hip flexors, taking a butterfly pose, stretch, letting that head go. And come all the way up. And we're gonna grab behind those thighs, flex the feet. From here, sit up nice and tall. On our exhale, we're gonna tilt our pelvis towards us, roll back, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And then find that sweet spot right where those abdominals start to shake. We lead with the crown of the head, we roll it all the way back up. Scoop the abdominals and come back up. So being on the heels and flexing the toes up to the ceiling just makes it a little bit harder. If you need some more support for the spine, just press the entire foot down onto that mat. It'll be a little bit easier. Still active through the backs of the legs. So I like to feel my heels pressing down to activate through those hamstrings, through the glutes. Get okay, two more here. Now next one, we're gonna hold it down. Now flex the feet if they aren't already. And then we just take it back an inch, up an inch, back and up. Scooping those abdominals. I like to imagine somebody were to come by with a big old ice cream scooper, scooping out my midsection, making that nice sinkhole where the abdominals are. And that exhale is really gonna help. Four more here. We've got three, last two, and one. Hold it down. Now we're gonna rotate over the right shoulder. Hands go on the outer side of the right leg, and we just take it back and up, rotating both shoulders. That twist comes from our upper torso here. And that opposite sits bone is pressing down, feeling that right oblique working. We've got four more here. Three, good, two. Hold it here and let's rotate it to the other side. Try to stay low the whole time in that working zone. It's back and up. Good, rotate both shoulders. Four more here. Last three, two, and one. Let's come back center. Roll those shoulders down the back. Just find a little isometric hold, pressing that belly button down towards the spine for 10, nine, eight, seven. We get a stretch after this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. We will take that hip flexor stretch, just stretching out through the front of the hips. You can take a fold forward if that feels good. And then we're gonna come back down onto our back, just taking that nice roll all the way down. Plant the feet down. We're gonna extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Hands go behind the head, elbows are wide. We're gonna take a chest lift up, exhale to lift. Inhale, lower back down. So make sure both sits bones are nice and even. We're not hiking up that right hip. If you have tight hamstrings, just take a soft bend into the knee, but you're still active through that leg. Good, exhale, lift center, inhale, lower back down. Good, now we're gonna add a lower and lift of that right leg. So as we lift, 
the head, we lift the leg. As we lower the leg, we lower the head. Exhale, and good. Now reach the left arm up for the right toes. Lower down, reach that left arm. Left arm long. Exhale, lift fingertips towards the toes. Feeling the obliques working here. Deep hip flexors are pulling that leg in. And then try to keep that right elbow wide. We have four more here and then we're gonna hold it up. Last three. Give me two more. Last one, hold it up. Little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four. Lift a little bit higher for three, two, one. Lower it back down. Let's switch it to the other side. Left leg comes up. Take it in the center to start lifting and lowering. So check out that lift, left hip bone. That belt line is nice and level. Little space between our chin and our chest. Let's add the arm, right arm up, lowering down. Really slow. So you can feel that left deep hip flexor, left oblique, Good, four more here, and then we hold it up and pulse it, and then we're done with this set. Almost there, you guys. Last three, still. Stay nice and slow for two. Next one, let's hold it up, let's pulse it for eight. Almost there, reach a little bit higher. Reaching pinky finger to pinky toe, last four. Three more, two, one. Nice work, you guys, hug those knees in. One more abdominal set. We're gonna place the hands behind the glutes to give our spine some more support here. So making a triangle, point your finger and thumb right behind the glutes, make sure it's not behind the low back. From here, flex the feet. We lower the right leg down, then the left, pausing in the center. It's right and left. So you only take it as low where you can keep that imprint, pressing that whole spine down, keep that core control. It's right and left. Finding that breath. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling, exhaling on the way up. Good, now if you want a little bit more here, add a chest lift, alternating and switching. We've got 10 more here and then we are done with this series, you guys. Last nine, eight, seven, give me six, five, lift a little bit higher for four, three, two, one. Pull those knees in. So good, you guys. Take some spinal twist. Stretch out that spine. Allow the knees to fall over towards the right. Gaze over towards the left. Just letting those shoulders melt down. Hips come off of the mat. We'll take it the other direction. Gazing the opposite way. And then come back center. Make little circles, just massaging out that low back. And then we'll rock and roll it on up. Stretching out through the hip flexors one more time, taking that butterfly stretch. Reach those arms long. Let that head hang heavy. And then let's roll it on up. Great job, I hope you enjoy this workout. It's a great workout to do three to five times a week. When this starts to feel too easy, you know you're ready to move on to the intermediate level class. To really see all of that definition that we just created, join me for some of my other cardio banks method workouts too. Many of our subscribers don't see our videos. Make sure that you click the notification bell. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration.